Hello everyone, this is Mohan Royal. Today we are going to see about planetary gear reciprocating rod mechanism. This mechanism I have created with the uh, principle of uh, basic uh, planetary gear setup. So here we have outer uh, ring gear, then the planet gear, uh, then uh, the planet gear is attached with the reciprocating rod. So it is going to convert the rotary motion into reciprocating motion. This mechanism took almost 2 hours to uh, create all those parts and to uh, give kinematics joints. Let me show you what are the parts I have created to make the complete assembly. First we have a gear, then a sliding rod, then a rotating pin, then the base gear. This is going to be a fixed part in our uh, mechanism. We are in a DMU uh, workbench, so I am going to fix one part, new mechanism, renaming the mechanism. So uh, as usual, uh, for kinematics, we should have one fixed part and one command uh, to simulate the mechanism. Okay, selecting the uh, base part. Uh, okay, the mechanism node is created under the application uh, node in the tree structure. So next one is uh, revolute joint. Okay, I'm selecting the uh, center axis of uh, both the part, then uh, side face, giving here offset. I'm, I'm not going to control from here. So okay. Here I made double click on a rowlet joint so the pop up is showing. Here we need to select line 1 and then uh, line 2 is the pin center axis, then uh, side face of the pin, then the gear offset. Here I am enabling the uh, angle driven so I am going to control it from here. So then uh, uh, same uh, center axis of the rotating pin, then uh, side face offset. Okay. Okay. Uh, here I'm going to use a uh, prismatic joint to uh, make the uh, uh, pin slide uh, with respect to the center axis. So prismatic joint, selecting the center axis, then the base part center axis. We need to select the uh, plane one side face. So, okay, it is not taking from here, so I'm going to select it from the uh, plane. So ZX plane I'm selecting, then uh, here the same ZX plane. No need to give a length to one. Okay, the mechanism can be simulated. The degree of freedom came to zero, so the mechanism is uh, completely fine. So I'm going to add the constraints. Right click, add. Okay, I'm making it an isometric uh, manually. Then uh, selecting a simulation with the commands tool. Mm, okay, it is working fine. But we have restrictions up to 360 only, so I'm going to change that uh, by uh, editing the Revolute joint. Uh, Revolute 2, okay, double clicking the Revolute 2, then uh, here uh, I'm making uh, simply into 3, then here I'm making it 0, 0, okay. Okay, now uh, we can check. Okay, I am simply pressing the arrow. Okay, I think it is working fine. It should come uh, one and a half uh, rotation. Yes. Okay. okay, guys, this is all about our uh, today's planetary gear reciprocating rod mechanism. Stay tuned for uh, more videos. Uh, do subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Thank you for your support.